The Dallas Cowboys have all the talent. They have one of the greatest receiving corps in the league. Dak Prescott is back. They are going to run the entire NFC 9-8. Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to lead the Washington football team to greatness in the first four games, 6-11. and 11. Six and eleven. I don't understand why the Eagles kept Carson Wentz. He was so bad last year. Wait, they didn't. Five and twelve. This is going to be the year that Jordan Love takes over as a Packers quarterback, and the Packers are so fucked. 13 and 4. It's 2021, therefore it's an odd year, therefore the Vikings are going to be good this year. 10 and 7. Matt Nagy is bald. 8 and 9. The Detroit Lions, more like 4 and 13. Tampa, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are not going to be good this year. I'm really impressed by what they're doing. 13 and 4. I don't even know how good the Saints are going to be this year, but I can certainly tell you that... 7 and 10. The Carolina Panthers make no sense at all. They're going to start 5 and 0 oh this year and then they're going to finish 6 and 11. You right about it. 5 and 12. I'm really looking forward to watching Matthew Stafford's rookie season. 12 and 5. The Seahawks can never be a normal football team. They could finish 16 and 1 this year but have a negative point differential of minus 80. 11 and 6. This this is the most complete team in football. They have talent pretty much everywhere. But on the other hand, they have Jimmy Garoppolo, who fucking sucks. 9 and 8. If you're optimistic about the Cardinals, you can fuck off. Look at this play. Look at this third and 18 fucking play. Do you think this is a good play? No. 8 and 9. Fuck you.